Hello everyone, welcome to another classic toy review here at Scorched Earth Toys at AnyMoon.com. Today I'm reviewing Gakken's 155 scale 2 mode transformation Legios toys, also released as Robotech Alpha toys. Um, some trivia on that. In Japan, Gakken of Japan made a blue Legios toy. Gakken of Japan never made green and red Legios toys, so if you're looking for Gakken of Japan products only, you're only going to find the blue one. There's also a blue Gakken of Singapore one. I don't have it here. Uh, the only difference should be that the Japanese version has a rubber fin on it. The Singapore versions have plastic fins. I guess the idea was that the rubber one would be a little harder to break. If the hard ones proved fragile, but I don't really think they did. If you find these used, usually there's lots of paint chipping. I'll show you some pictures of that online at anymoon.com. Uh, and there's lots of loose joints. For example, this is the gun for this toy here. And this is this toy holding up the gun. And that's as quickly as it falls down. So, the shoulder joints tend to get useless over time. My blue Legios here is pretty much brand new, so that's why that one can still hold up the gun. But these other guys, no dice, they're going to fall right back down. Alright, so let's go through articulation. I'll use the green guy, since he's the loosest, to show you what we can do here. And sadly, it's not much. So you do have the arm joint that goes all the way around. Uh, these chests move, but that's for transformation. Usually that's more annoying than anything else. Uh, there's a swivel at the bicep, and then there's your elbow joint, which goes about that far. So not a huge range of motion there. Uh, your legs, your hip joint works perfectly fine. Usually really stiff because, because there's very limited knee mobility. So not really much of a point to moving the hips because the knees aren't very well articulated and there's almost no articulation in the feet just a little bit in the ankle and that's for transformation into the next mode so if you're looking to get a sweet running pose uh, it just really can get to about there and that's as extreme as it's going to get for you so really articulation not the strong suit of this toy um, well the only strong suit of this toy is really its die cast content and that's in the chest and the legs. There's a lot of die cast in those two spots. Um, that's about it. Let's move on to diver mode. Alright, here is diver mode. There's really not much to show you here. You can adjust how steep the angle is by using the hip joint, uh, but that is pretty much all you can do in this mode. Obviously you have arm articulation, but usually the joints are so loose that that's worthless. Now my blue alpha is essentially new, so that one's still stiff enough to hold up the gun. My other ones here, not so much. So really they just get into this mode and then they become little statues. Um, getting into this mode involves pulling the wing out and then pretty much just shifting the bat droid or the soldier mode down. All right, that's it for this toy. Obviously, not a whole lot of fun. Its whole cachet is in the fact that it's a classic, somewhat transformable, heavily die-cast toy. Um, that's about it. Uh, obviously, if you are looking for the top-of-the-line Legios toy, this is not it. This is for Legios completists pretty much only at this point. Thanks for view viewing. Visit anymoon.com for line art comparisons and for uh, comparisons to other toys. Thanks a lot.